Everybody. what is up it's Berlin welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new hi what I normally do over here on my little channel is talk about the tea the drama the gossip and either have my makeup done or I do my makeup while I'm sitting here with you guys and tonight that's what I'm going to be doing so I've grabbed out a couple of palettes I've got the mini controversy palette the conspiracy palette and also the sensorium beauty chapter one palette here so i'm going to be picking and using from all three of these and then i'm gonna do the rest of my face i've already done the top part but we're here to get into the drama while i start on my eyes so the first thing i'm going to talk about in this video is luscious masca now luscious masca once again has been very very shady and come for rich love. The other day, Luscious went live on YouTube and somebody in her comments in the live chat asked her about the Jesse Smollett case, what she thought about it. And her response, she just couldn't resist having a little jab at Rich Lux. And it was absolutely a jab at Rich Lux. Because Luscious had said things of this nature about Rich Lux in the past. So I'm going to put this clip in here just to show you guys what I'm talking about. Because she was definitely coming for Rich. Absolutely. She was coming for Rich with what she said here. No doubt about it. And let me tell you, I'm also a little disturbed. Because I was friends with someone who was literally the textbook definition of a con artist. Someone who fabricated everything and lived in a delusional reality. Which wasn't even a reality. Oh my God. And I'm so shocked, shook to the core with what's going on right now where every, like all these con artists are getting TV shows and their stories are being told and they're like becoming almost glamorized. Finish my eyes, I put on my foundation, a little bit of contour powder. Now I'm going to use this Jaclyn Cosmetics um, cream blush. I really actually like these, they're really, really good. So I'm just plopping a few dots of that one just up there and there and I'm gonna grab my Mitchell brush and just blend it out so yeah Luscious was absolutely being shady about Rich Lux but I'm gonna move on because there is so much shit going on between Kanye West and Kim Kardashian yeah I was talking about Kim Kardashian the day before yesterday because she'd made those comments about people working in that variety interview well, now Kanye has kicked off on Instagram again about North being on TikTok. Girl, it's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. Kanye kicked off about a TikTok that Kim and North posted. I think it was with one of North's little friends. But Kanye kicked off about this TikTok big time. He kicked off in a caption on Instagram first. He posted a screenshot of the TikTok which was the emo boy TikTok, the, I think it's Machine Gun Kelly, I'm in love with an emo boy, it's that TikTok, and Kanye kicked off about it, saying, oh, my eight-year-old daughter shouldn't be on TikTok singing, I'm in love with an emo boy, all of this kind of stuff. He really kicked off, he's mad about it, he's pressed. You could see Kim and North in the TikTok, where they've got kind of like messy emo makeup on that I assume North did, but... Kanye's pressed, he kicked off. So he kicked off in this huge caption on Instagram. And then aside from that, he's also gone on a massive rant about it. But in the caption, he said that he can hurt people. Like in the caption, the bottom of the caption, he was talking a little bit about Perez Hilton. And then he starts to say, oh, you know, don't put my name and abuse together because I can find you, I can find your address. And it was like a real threat, right? So Kanye, this threat is not clear to me if this threat is at Kim or if this threat is at Perez Hilton. I don't know. It could be at either. Looking at the caption here, it could be at either of those people. But if it's towards Kim, girl, get the restraining order out. Seriously, like, I would be done. You know, I would be done. 
I would get a restraining order because of everything else that Kanye has been doing on social media. I would get a restraining order out on the guy and just be like, look, we're done here. You know, finito, we are done. Hey, everybody, I just got off the phone with Kim. I told her to stop antagonizing me with this TikTok thing. I said it's never again. I am her father. I know y'all don't respect fathers and the idea of family and media tries to promote something. I said, I am not allowing my daughter to be used by TikTok, to be used by Disney. Uh, I have a say so. And then when people say, oh, they're gonna use this for you in court, I don't even, I didn't have a say so on whether or not they went to Sierra Canyon. Most men do not, there's no such thing as 50-50 custody with with in society today that's not that's not even it always leans towards the mom but right now and i'm happy that you guys got to see just a small piece of what i dealt with you understand what i'm saying so when we had the donda 2 release in miami i got a flight for all my kids to come from calabasas to come in miami to see the kids then uh, assistant uh, hit me and said, all the kids, you know, the, they said the kids are there. When the plane took off, I got a text from Kim that said uh, North won't be on the plane. You see, this is the kind of stuff that's just like the Chicago birthday party. And I'm glad that y'all saw in the variety piece what I have to deal with. Here go another thing. The Doves high school basketball game. We hold one in California. My my daughter loves basketball. I want her to see the league that her father is starting. North can't go to that game. Now we got Sunday service the morning, uh, this morning at 10 a.m. And it's North had a sleepover, so she can't come to Sunday service. I moved the Sunday service up to 10 a.m. So that I Saint soccer game at 1230. Move the entire thing. Now, I've been dragged and how she's not my wife. She don't have a last name. And now he texting me talking and bragging about how he's in bed with my wife. And I'm like, well, who's watching my children if he's texting me bragging about being in bed with my wife? And and I thought this wasn't my wife no more legally since I got the, uh, you know, I got the lawyer to finally Finished the divorce because every time I finish the show, the free Hoover show, the next day she dropping the last night. Every time I do some positive, it's some negative that's coming. I go and get the laptop from Ray J. Then is she joking about divorce? I go and get the lawyer, change the lawyer so we can finally do the divorce. And then somehow I'm the one that's the stalker. God, I just need to protect my ch You protect the children. You tell, I know our nannies, some of them are Christian. You touch them, please, God, today and have them bring my children to Sunday service this morning. The devil ain't going to win. You get what I'm saying? This is gaslighting. Kim gets black people out of prison. You know who puts black people in prison? The person that the boyfriend has a tattoo of, Hillary. You understand the setup right here? You understand the narrative right here? God, please, in your son's name, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Please make sure my kids come to Sunday service. Please. Amen. So we've got Kanye West raging and he's not the only one who's been raging on social media recently because J.K. Rowling has also been raging. Yep, Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling has been raging too and it's kind of stupid same old same old jk rowling stuff you know if you guys follow jk rowling or know anything about jk rowling outside of harry potter you might have seen jk rowling making feminist tweets and things like that you know showing her support for women's rights as she does but the problematic thing with jk rowling as a lot of you guys probably know is that she's a bit of a turf and by a bit of a turf, I mean she's a big old, big old dump truck of a turf because she's somebody who wants to exclude trans women from women only spaces and conversations about women. She doesn't think of trans women as women. She doesn't want to put trans women in the same category with anything 
as biological women. She's very like anti-trans women, basically. When it comes to her feminism, she just refuses to acknowledge trans women as women. And that's transphobic, you know, whatever way you look at it. To me, that is just transphobia. You know, you can be a feminist without diminishing the experiences of trans women. You can be a feminist without lumping your trauma, you know, on trans women. She, JK Rowling, spoke out when she was called out about this on Twitter the other day by another YouTuber. JK Rowling spoke out about it and said, well, I was abused by an ex-husband, so, you know, me sticking up for women's rights isn't anything that's transphobic. But really it is, you know, yeah, the fact that you've been abused by an ex-husband, you know, yeah, of course, that's very sad and it shouldn't happen to anybody of any gender. But you don't need to use that as an excuse to diminish the experience of trans women. You really don't. You know, you can fight against cis men, but also include trans women. You know what I mean? You can still accept trans women and fight against cis men who've been abusive to you. You don't have to choose one or the other. You really don't, you know? I don't understand why JK Rowling is so anti-trans women. I've never understood that about her. And it is disappointing because, yeah, you know, I was a Harry Potter fan, but I'm not anymore. It's, it's very disappointing. But I promise you, you can still be about women's rights and feminism without excluding trans women. You know, you really can. It doesn't have to be one or the other. And people are calling this out on Twitter. You know, people are clapping back to JK Rowling, calling her transphobic for her statements. And, you know, saying that 99% of queer people don't agree with JK Rowling's stance on, you know, trans women not being the same or not being accepted along with biological women when we talk about feminism. Queer people are telling JK Rowling that her stance is outdated and that her stance doesn't fly with a lot of queer people these days. Yeah, you will still get some gay people who don't accept trans people. You know, we've got organisations like the LG alliance and that is a horrible organization that is horribly transphobic you know oh yeah we're gay but we're not going to support trans people it's a horrible organization right and nowadays the majority of gay people do accept trans people and do speak up for trans people's rights but for JK Rowling to come out with all of these statements you know that trans women aren't real women for her to take this stance on it it's disappointing it's just annoying you know because you want to think okay jk rowling harry potter lovely wonderful but then you can't because oh she's a transphobe and there you go back in villain mode here with my hair and my look all finished little spritz of setting spray i'm going to use the holy mist from jeffree star cosmetics just because i like the mist on this one it's nice and soft there we go lovely now we're my fern there we go so that is me all done let me know what you think about all the topics in this video all the drama with kim and kanye west the stuff about JK Rowling still being transphobic over on Twitter. There is literally so much with JK Rowling. So many transphobic tweets that she's put out when she's been advocating for women's rights. You know, she's always come to knock down transgender women. So let me know what you think about that whole situation. And also luscious shading rich lux. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.